Hey, Biometry Tree Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into question number 4 of your assessment paper number 11. Now this question is something that uses guess and check. Okay, oops, sorry. That uses guess and check. Okay, let's read the question first. It says that Mandy had only $2 and $5 notes with her. She had a total of 23 notes. That means... If you add up the $2 notes and the $5 notes, you have 23 of them. Okay, what's the difference between $2 and $2 notes? Okay, what does the notes refer to? The notes refer to the pieces of paper. In other words, pieces of, uh, what are they called? Of, of money lah, okay? So, um, that's the difference lah, okay? So, after buying a skirt for $36, she had $28 left. Okay, that's the, what, what does that mean? After buying a skirt for $36, she had $28 left. Okay, what she's what the, the, ask, the question is trying to ask you is uh, to tell you actually is that before she spent the money she actually had more. So the question asks you how many dollars did she have at first. So if she already spent the money and she had twenty eight dollars left before she spent the money, how much did she have? That's the first part. So we take thirty six dollars plus twenty eight dollars. That's the first step because you want to know how much money she had at first. So, 36 plus 28 gives you $64. So, at the start, she has $64. Okay, and this is where we uh, we have to find out how many $2 notes and $5 notes she had at first. So, like I said, we have to do guess and check. Okay, guess and check. So, what's guess and check? Guess and check is basically something like this. Okay, hold on. Uh. Guess and check basically is we just have to guess what number we have. Okay, so this is how we do it. $2 notes, $5 notes, then we find out what is the total number of notes and the value. Okay, so for example, since they said that we have, um, how many notes? Huh? 23 notes. That means the number of notes has to be, it could be 22 notes here and one note here because that gives me $23, eh, 23 notes, correct? But how much is this worth? In other words, how much money would she have if we were to have this? And remember, our goal is $64. Just remember that. Our goal is to hit $64. So 22 times 2 gives you 44. 44 plus $5 only gives you how much? $49. How about if I have $21, $2 notes and I have two $5 notes? 21 times 2 gives me 42. 42 plus 5 times 2, which is 10, gives you $52. Okay, we are still quite far away. 20 and 3. We have 20 times 2 which gives you $40. And we have 5 times 3 which gives you $15. So 40 plus 15 gives you uh, $55. Okay, we are still getting there very close. Now, I want you to notice one thing. One thing very cool is happening here. What's the link from one to another? Can you see that it's beginning to simply plus 3? Plus 3? Okay, but let's just do one more time to see, to confirm whether we are right. So we have 19 uh, $2 notes, we give you $38. And we have four $15 notes, uh, $5 notes, which gives us $20. So 38 plus 20 gives you $58. Let's check on our trend over there. Let's check our pattern. Yes, it is right, plus 3. So from now on, we just have to plus 3. Maybe we have to think about it. So if we have 18 and we have 5, the answer will be minus 3. Sorry, uh, plus 3. What do you get? You get 61. We are very close, but we are not there yet. And finally, we have 17 and 6, which gives us, what's the answer? 64, what we are looking for. We just have a jackpot. Woohoo! $64 is the answer we are looking for, and that is the answer. So in other words, when she has $64, she has 17 $2 notes and 6 $5 notes. So the question is asking us for what? They are asking us for $2 notes that she had first. So the answer is... 70. If you got that one right, I'm super proud of you. High five to you because you are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay? And that brings me to the code to the code of the week. <laughs> Not the coach of the week, the code of the week. Just because a goalkeeper is standing in front of you, it doesn't mean you can't score. So listen, forget about the goalkeeper, aim for the goal, shoot it, and you will score. With that, this is Coach Saiful signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.